Hi there, I'm Christopher Dunnigan. This is Handmade in Vermont.com, and today we're talking about the Hubbardton Forge Semi Flush Forged Leaf. And we're going to be talking about the Leaf Small, the 126712, and its big brother, the 126732. So I actually have the smaller one here. This is the decoration, and this is uh, part of the fixture, and the glass part of it is the other equation, the 126712. And we're going to get into this one first, and then we'll move over to the bigger one in a second. So this one is going to be using um, a piece of glass that's this big, and this is the, the diameter of the fixture itself. So it's 13.5 inches in diameter, and the distance from the ceiling to the bottom of the fixture, so that means the bottom of the glass is going to be 8.2 inches. And um, both this size and the larger size are perfect for 8-foot ceilings. You can even make this work for a 7-foot ceiling, 7.5-foot ceiling. The nice thing about mm -hmm. these fixtures is they are open on top. This is going to be fitting in like this, and you get a lot of light that's going to hit this white glass, bounce back and hit your white ceiling, and bathe the room. It's called ambient light. This is going to be uh, using two 100 watt bulbs, and the larger one's going to be using three 100, up to three 100 watt incandescent bulbs. We'll get into that in just a second too. So this is the larger, uh, this is the smaller one, the 126712. Let's talk about the bigger one. That one is uh, the 126732. 11 inches uh, tall, so that's going to be from the ceiling to the bottom of the fixture. And now it's going to be 16 inches in diameter, so that's going to be able to accommodate three 100 watt porcelain sockets. So, a couple things. Uh, this is a five and a quarter inch canopy that goes onto what's called a universal mounting kit that's going to come with it. Kind of goes on like that. There's two little holes here that you can barely see, one here and one here. And these little threaded pieces that come with the mounting kit go through there. And then these go onto your normal 4-inch junction box, which you guys all have because these are standardized in America. So you're good to go on that. Um, if you guys are replacing uh, recessed can light or what's called a hi-hat, there is a product out in the market called the Can Converter. You can check that out. That will take um, any recessed light and turn it into a junction box without any re big rewiring or plaster work or any of that stuff. So you can take recessed lights and you can turn them into these great fixtures. So um, why don't we move on to lamping on this. Th these are going to be using these medium base sockets. You've got two of them in here. You've got three of them in the bigger one. You're going to go up to 100 watts incandescent for each of these or you can use a LED and this is the recommended bulb is called an A19. That's this size. This is about the size of a 60 watt bulb you and I grew up with but this could also accommodate in what's called an A21 if you wanted to go there too. But you know two 100 watt bulbs or two 100 watt equivalent LEDs is quite a bit of light. Three of them is a lot of light so that's good too. Uh, why don't we move on from there and I'm just going to kind of show you what's called the decoration. So this is the decoration and these are all hand forged leaves on here. Here, here, here. And this is all hand forging. This is all done by one guy and he's actually at Hubbardton Forge and he's teaching his son how to do these leaves. So there's really only two people who um, have been making these leaves for like uh, between the two of them for about 30 years. It's kind of interesting. So they actually have it down pat and, and it's a very beautiful thing. So moving on from there, let's check out glass on this. You're going to have two glass options. You're going to have opal, which is a white glass. Okay. And after that, you're going to have sand. Sand, this is actually off a different fixture. It doesn't have the hole in the bottom. But sand is going to be an earthy kind of sand on the beach, cafe au lait look. So you've got a more earthy, organic one, and then you have this one, which is going to be <clears throat> um, the whiter one and you can see kind of how they look this just really acts as a diffuser and this takes over for the design on that one and then on this guy you can see what that looks like too so um, again more earthy more uh, I'm not going to say modern because it's not a modern fixture but this one will actually be <clears throat> a bit more neutral okay so that's going to be it for your glass why don't we talk about metal finishes if you're on our website handmade oops, handmade in .com, midway down on the left hand side you're going to see a finishes help guide click on that for me this is in the red tabs you're going to see a video and the video on the top of that is going to be me talking to you guys about the differences in Hubbardton forge finishes and how they look on different types of forging this is not heavy forging this this is kind of um, a flat plate what I'm sorry it's a little bit of a dome plate, but this is not heavy forging. This is heavy forging. So that video is going to talk about the differences in those two things. Scroll down a little bit, and there's a colored chart. It has 10 finishes on it. 
they have pictures with the letter A on it, some have the pictures with the letter B on it. That's all going to be talked about in the video up above. So watch the video, use that chart, and then you'll kind of understand how these can look a little bit different. On this piece, these are this is in black, which is an opaque finish, so everything kind of looks the same. But if this was in burnished steel, or if it was in dark smoke or bronze, those are translucent finishes. So the leaf may look a little different than this part of it, the fixture in the canopy. All talked about in the video, so watch that video. When you're done with that, go back to that chart. You can click on any of those pictures with the A's and the B's on them. Uh, pictures will pop up showing you more examples of whatever you guys just clicked on. So that is that. We have this in our showroom on the first floor. I think it's in dark smoke. I'm not exactly sure. We have a wonderful showroom here in Vermont, over 350 Hubbardton Forge fixtures. We have a What's On Display page back on the left-hand side of your screen in those red tabs. Click on that. It's going to show you everything we have here to show you guys before you guys make the trek to come see us. We also have a clearance center. Clearance center stuff is 75% off MSRP. It is a great deal. You have to come here to use it, and it's definitely worth the trek. Um, showroom open every day except Sunday from 11 to 6. You can call us at 802-446-2400 every day except Sunday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern, and I will talk to you if you will, if you like. Um, you can email us at sales at handmadeinvermont.com. We're here all the time too for that, and then we spell out the word Vermont in that email address. Uh, when you buy your Hubbardton Forge fixtures from handmadeinvermont.com, shipping is free to every state except Alaska and Hawaii. There's no tax if we ship out of the state of Vermont. We're the only dealer that has 90-day returns and no restocking fees. Um, some bigger items, generally big giant things on pallets, do not come back. And we'll always tell you about that ahead of time. And we also offer a rush program. So let's say you need this faster than Hubbardton Forge is normal, three to four weeks in production. <clears throat> it's very inexpensive. Drop a quick email and I can walk you through that. So I think that kind of covers everything on this. Uh, great fixture, been around for a long time. Um, throws a tremendous amount of light. So again, perfect for kitchens, perfect for bathrooms, perfect for hallways, um, all over the place. And the fact that it only comes down 8.2 inches and the bigger one 11 point inches, it's going to fit into so many room sizes. So any questions, let me know. I am here for you. Thanks for stopping in today. Take care. Bye-bye.